after taking a break from reporting, which is my profession by trade, I decided to get back into it. And this is my journey to my first story in quite a while after the pandemic and some personal losses. I was ready to get back into it. First off, I needed to do something about this hair. So here is the new hair color. It's definitely showing off a lot better than it is in person, but I absolutely love it. It was definitely time for a change and I am welcoming this change. You can get a better look at the curtain bangs. I don't know, what do you think? Change is good, right? All right, now that that's taken care of, it's time to get to work. This is the behind the scenes of me covering Strategicon. This was in 2022 and it was my first event back. I'll be showing you the process of what it is to get a story covered. All right, the first thing I do as soon as I get to the venue is meet up with my producer photographer, Rob. He's a little camera shy, but we go and get a copy of the itinerary and figure out who we really wanna to talk to, who's attending, what would make good footage, and anyone we're really excited to see. Here's a little iPhone camera action. So as soon as I have my microphone, I am ready to go. And we're gonna go look around the venue first. This was my first time attending Strategicon Gateway, but I was very excited to see what it was about. And I was amazed at everything that was there. Strategicon brings the widest array of family, historical, fantasy, and science fiction board, card, computer, miniatures, and role-playing games at each and every one of their conventions. So if there is a game you like to play, chances are you were going to find someone else who loved it just as much. So as I mentioned, it was a time of first for me. Here I am painting a little miniature, taking my time and being very deliberate with the process. I think he turned out pretty good. And then the final thing is Here I am finally getting to play a game. This is a Moonlight Moore game and David Panzer is one of the creators behind the game Last Days of Athobre, who's showing me all the rules in this game. It's a strategy resource gathering game where the planet falls to pieces beneath your feet. And the first to build a ship and escape wins. Obviously, I was trying to win, but it didn't go so well. We got lucky that we got to meet Jeff Lobenstein, who is huge in the gaming world of Magic the Gathering, and he agreed to speak with us. They weren't kidding when they said this was a gaming convention. I'm pretty sure this room held every single game ever made. The cool thing is you could check them out and play them while the convention was going on. I saw some that I like. Do you see your favorite? I'm pretty sure it's in here. And about this time, we were famished. We had been running around all morning long looking for people to interview, and it was time for lunch. Unfortunately, we had limited options and had to stop at Carl's Jr. After lunch, we returned to the venue and I shot my stand-up. Now, this is usually where the host reporter speaks directly to the camera and explains what they're doing, what the event is about. We're here at Strategicon Gateway 2022, and we're ready to play some games. We usually do a couple of takes just to be safe. And that's a wrap. I am headed home. It was so nice speaking to everyone and hearing about their passion for games and how it's also able to bring people together. I think it's much needed. So from here, I'm able to relax a little bit because my producer will be the one editing the videos and uploading them to the channel. It's a team effort. We just got back from picking up dinner and it's sushi burritos and it's absolutely delicious. I don't know what these guys are, but they're really good. I don't know what those are. Really good. And the T Rex, which has all their different types of sushi in it. And my personal favorite is the spicy tuna burrito. Mmm, so, so good. You get such a huge portion. I will probably only eat half and save the rest for lunch tomorrow. After a long day, this meal was perfect and very much deserved. To wrap up the night, I have to take my little guy on a walk. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this.